Hey guys, it's Amos. Welcome back to another episode of Sky Wars. So, I'm a student at university, right? And also the server's really laggy, so might not be able to win games because, yeah, just lag. But, that's not that's besides the point. Basically, as a student, one thing that I rely on so much is public transportation. Just because it, like, I don't have a car or anything, so if I want to go anywhere, I gotta take the bus. And this episode, I thought it would be really cool if we could just like take some time and appreciate, like really appreciate how much bus drivers do for us. Because like being a bus driver, oh my goodness, you just pearled in. It's not really seen as a high-end job, but it's actually super important. Because like so many people depend on you as a bus driver. Uh, and it's not just like one bus load of people because people are constantly getting getting on and off and stuff wow. dang okay yeah like as a bus driver i think it's so cool that like so many people depend on you what is this lag because like, it's not just one bus load of people that depend on you right it's like people are constantly getting on and off the bus and if you added it up i would say it's in the thousands like honestly like you probably serve like upwards of <laughs> look at that okay upwards of like a thousand people every day and i think that it's really it's really awesome to have like that opportunity to serve that many people another thing be about being a bus driver right is that you actually got to be super courageous don't pearl away no no oh i got strength okay i'll take it Okay, or you can just lag around that, that also good, also good. Nice. Nice, okay. Ag, I know, right? No, knockback three. All right, we got him. All right, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, bus drivers. Okay, like when I worked as a cashier, right? I mean, it was a hard job. Uh, we had our we had our fair share of like difficult customers, but okay, I can't fight this. Um, but like, if anything went wrong, we could, there was always someone we could turn back to. Uh, like just just by the nature that like I worked in a building, so like if something went wrong, if a customer was being like uh, difficult, I could just talk to another employee or a manager or something. But if you're like. If you're a bus driver, you really gotta have some courage because, like, if if someone is being difficult with you, like, no one's gonna be there to help you because, like, you're the only one uh, on the bus, and the bus is like constantly moving, right? So it's not like you work in a building. Okay, let's just finish this guy. That was a good combo, and he's off the map. Awesome. For example, say someone just like you're a bus driver, right? And someone just comes on and like sits down on the bus without paying. Uh, and that's not like, just like a random example that actually happened um, on one of the buses I was on. Like someone just came in and then just sat down. And like seriously, as a bus driver, you would have to have so much courage to like speak out and call them out. But I guess it is your job, but still like, I, if that was me, I would be super scared to call them out. Cause like, it's a random stranger. And yeah, if something goes wrong, right? like. If they really aren't listening to you, like there's no one else to back you up because as a bus driver, you're just on your own on the bus and you're like, you're kind of like responsible for the bus on your own. And once again, that, that, that's why I related my story of being a cashier because if anything went wrong, I could just talk to someone. Block it, block it. Hey, GG, GG. Also, I'm so thankful for bus drivers because I'm just always amazed by how committed they are to their job. Like I have an app that tells me when bus times are, right? And the app is actually really reliable. Not because the app is reliable, but because the bus drivers are always on time. And I'm always so thankful that like the bus drivers, they have a time to get to every stop and they actually get get to the stop at that time, which is really amazing. Because think about it, there's so many variables 
on the roads like every day there could be traffic there could be like delays whatever but somehow they always manage to like get to my stop on time which is okay i'm gonna die what is this wait i got that kill yes come down here right oh you want to go as well okay that's fine we're getting cleaned i'm out <laughs> All right, let me just heal, and then we can go back in. Oh my, we're super low, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just so thankful uh, that bus drivers are always on time. And it's a huge commitment too. Like, you gotta, you gotta, it's like every day. Yeah, it's like every day you gotta be, be there for the people that you're picking up. Okay, let's get to mid. I don't have boots. What are you doing? Okay, you're running. That's fine. All right, let's get some boots. Okay, fire sword. That is also good. And there we go. There's the boots. All gap. Diamond chest plate. Nope, speed. Okay, that works. Okay, that's a fight that I do not want to get caught in between. Can we go for this dude? We can. All right. Interesting strategy on his part, but... Oh, wow, okay. Strength is so broken. What is this? Uh... Oh, there's ender pearls here, but he took them. All right. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about is just like show my appreciation for bus drivers. Um, because... Once again, like, it's such an underappreciated job and people just overlook it because it's like mundane and every day. When in reality, like, there's so much, there's so much to see. Um, and I feel like not just for bus drivers, but for people in general, right? It's so easy to just focus on, like, focus on the special things, the unique things, like the big things, big things that go on, big events when there's already so much to appreciate, so much to be thankful for, and like little things, like the things that just happen on a day-to-day -day basis. All right, that'll be it, guys. Um, if you do have anything to say about this subject or anything you'd like to let me know, I guess, uh, yeah, definitely let me know in the comments because I know I'm not 100% right about everything. And if there's anything that I like said out of place or if there's anything you disagree with, I would love to hear it. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.